This video will show you all the tips and tricks you'll need to know to successfully set up and collect the gas from your elimination reaction. To start, check out a gas collection apparatus from the ILSG window. You'll also need to obtain a 6-inch test tube. To collect the gas, you'll need to have the 6-inch test tube and gas collection tube filled with water and inverted into a water-filled beaker. While running water, tilt a 250 mil beaker and the 6-inch test tube towards each other. Allow both to fill with water and then quickly invert the test tube into the beaker. Repeat the process with the gas collection tube. Then pour a little bit of the water out of the beaker so that it is only about two-thirds full. If you have a small air bubble at the top of each tube, that's fine. Next, using a 50 mil beaker to hold your 10 mil round bottom flask, add a stir bar. Then add 0.4 milliliters of two butanol and 0.6 milliliters of the phosphoric sulfuric acid mixture. To complete the setup, first check the Tigon tubing attached to the collection apparatus for any melted spots, holes, or any other type of damage. Make sure the copper wrapped end forms a nice J shape. Then slide a blue ring over the glass end followed by an O ring. Then slide the round bottom flask on and screw the blue ring tightly onto your flask. Clamp the flask to the ring stand. Be sure to lay the Tigon tubing around the back of the ring stand to keep it from touching the hot plate so you don't melt the tubing. Lower your flask into the hot water bath. Begin stirring and set the heat setting to about 6. Position your thermometer. To place the copper wrapped end of the tubing, carefully lift up the 6 inch test tube just high enough to slip the Tigon tubing into the open end. When the reaction reaches about 80 degrees centigrade, you'll see bubbles coming out of the tubing and displacing the water in the 6 inch test tube. When the column of gas gets to about 1 inch from the bottom of the test tube, remove it. Then carefully lift the gas collection tube and slip it over the end of the Tigon tubing. Let the gas collection tube completely fill with gas until there are bubbles coming out of the glass tube. Carefully lift the gas collection tube just high enough to remove the Tigon tubing before turning off the heating and stirring. If you stop the reaction before removing the tubing, water will rush into the gas collection tube and you'll have no product. If instructed by your TA, run a GC analysis on your product. Because it is a gas, you'll be using a different type of syringe than the one used for a liquid product. You'll insert the needle into the rubber septum and draw up 0.05 to 0.1 mils of gas for your injection. Good luck and thanks for watching.